read all the creation myths after the great catastrophe, 9700 BC, or if you're in Egypt, the beginning of the creation cycle. Uh, the, f the, mound, uh, the, uh, the first mound that rises out of the primordial waters of chaos, upon which uh, there's a, m m miraculously, there's a little branch that's suddenly on top of the, the mound already, and the bird alights onto it. And I think the same story exists in the Maya tradition, I believe. Uh, the bird perches on the, on the sacred tree, and at that moment the mound is spiritualized, and from then on, the mound becomes the foundation of the future historical temple. Uh, this is a representation of the primordial mound as well. Now this is where it gets really weird and it goes back yes. to that. You take some salt or some fine sand when you go home. You get a table, perfectly flat, and you just pour it, okay? And then because you're bored and it's winter, you've got nothing better to do, at least in my case, photograph the, the mound from the side and put it in Photoshop and look at the angle that the mound forms as a way of dropping matter into it. 32.72 degrees is the angle of uh, how gravity influences matter to fall to create uh, that basic shape. It's otherwise known as a 33rd degree of Freemasonry. Uh, because you can't just go into a party and say, Hi, I'm a 32.72 degree Mason. It doesn't really work. It doesn't roll off the tongue. It's a convenience rounding off. Uh, but it also comes about, it, it, uh, the engineers know about this. It's called the angle of repose. And it's essentially the uh, um, the, uh, the manifestation of gravity and its effect on matter. And we're back to this story again. What are we here for? To overcome matter, to understand how to overcome gravity, so that the soul can leave the body and ascend the other world and return with information. Do you see how it all comes around? Beautiful.